Okay, so I noticed that while it doesn't have the line here, uh, I'm talking about the thing I mentioned last episode, in case you still remember, it has it on the ink tank itself. So you can see that line right there is how much ink you need to throw a bomb. So as soon as it reaches that line, that's when you can toss another bomb. So right here. Also, it blinks, which gives you a nice little notice. Does it do it here? Okay, well, it, make, it makes a sound cue and stuff. Anyways, hello, everybody. XP Gamer here, and welcome back to more Splatoon. I almost said Splatoon 2, but no, it's the normal Splatoon. Because I'm... I'm outdated. Very outdated. Very, very... Very outdated. Anyways, uh, last time we made our way through World 1, which is down there, finished the three kettles, and this time things are getting a little less straightforward. We're going to have to move around a bit if we want to make it to these levels, and we're going to be doing them out of order simply because, well, the way I find them. 07 Spreader Splatfest. Ink stains and teardrops. Uh-oh, teardrops. It's episode 2. I don't want to cry already. We saved that for the final boss. Final boss, eh, it's not, I forget. I remember having a hard time with it, but then once you got it down, it wasn't too bad. I don't know. I'm gonna stop talking about the final boss in part two. How about that? That sounds like a good idea, right? So we have these things, which are spreaders. They are obviously spread ink. Okay, actually come to think of it, you can tell that this one's underground, but not all of them look like they're underground, I swear. Also, I love just the random, like, completely random themes of these levels. Like, this one did a park for some reason. Like, it, it completely could have just been anything else, but they're like, let's make it a park for no reason. Whoa, you're still alive. I thought you were dead. I can see the zapping. So, what's your favorite food, bucko? Mine be Krabby Cakes. Watch those spreaders headed your way. Uh, what is my favorite food? Sushi's very good. But I don't know if I'd say my favorite. Uh, I'm gonna adjust the camera here for a second. Yeah, I don't know if it'd be my favorite, but does, do these go under? They do. Neat. Is there anything under here? Yes. Scroll. Neat. Boom, boom, boom. Just be careful not to fall off. Oh, oh, oh. oh! Nice. See, look, I'm good at video games sometimes. I am occasionally good at video games. All the time, heckity deck no, but occasionally, of course. There's that balloon down there, but nothing else, I don't think. I'll kill you. Because genocide! Am I right? <laughs> die, you hooligan! Oh, he didn't die. He didn't die when I thought he was gonna die. How dare him. How dare you not die when I command it! Die. Die! Oh, you have a shield, I see. Whoa, that could've been bad. Die now, fool! Ah! Oh my god, I actually could have lost armor for a bit there. Nice! Oh god, pushed us back a bit there. Stealthy boyo. Complete! The ink sprayed during a turf war vanishes almost immediately after the battle ends. How environmentally friendly and incredibly convenient. And this shows all the um possible color combinations you could play a turf war with. Oh, there's a is there two different shades of blue? Three different shades of blue? Well, I mean I'm counting normal blue and not like the light. Huh. I don't know if it's just that or if it just I don't know. Interesting. Uh excuse me while I text someone real quick.
Okay. Let's see. Where's the next one? I almost jumped off a cliff. Oh, I could have looked at the stage name, but too late for that. Pause the video if you can even see it. Doesn't it say right here? Yeah, floating sponge garden. Soak it up. Oh boy, this one. Uh, wanna soak up the sun? I wanna, I, I wanna download that song now. Gonna soak up the sun. Uh, is, is that the lyrics or is? I feel like I'm singing two different songs. Like I'm singing the lyrics of one song to the beat of another, but I might not be. I might have it right. I don't know. Ah, you hooligan! I, I pointed at him like five different times and just didn't kill him for some reason. So spongies. Hey, well done. Spongy, spongy, spongies. Spongies. I don't have to explain it because you probably already know what they do. Because I've been playing around with them for a little bit here. I will show you this, however. They shrink when an enemy hits them. So watch out because that's going to be a bit of a mechanic here in a minute. One sucky, sucky boy of a mechanic. Alright, if I could just... Oh, right, this is metal, so... Uh, ink doesn't stick on this. Like, metal, certain metals in glass, ink won't stay on. How oh, nice, they already pre-inked it for us. Yeah, you can see right there. Now just wait till we start getting sponges right over cliff tops. Isn't that gonna be fan diddly dastic? I don't know why I mash buttons. I think just holding X makes you pawn faster, but... Yeah, remember what I just said two seconds ago? I hope you darn did. Hide in the sponges and let them go past. Can I kill you from here? I can't. Didn't stand a chance against the... <laughs> die! Die! I didn't mean me. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god, I'm surprised I didn't die from a fall, honestly. Like, if anything, I thought the fall would have killed me. But alas. I'm just gonna kill you from here. My sister wants me. She's FaceTiming me. What? Why? Okay. Well, food is complete, so I will have to be back in a minute. Where we kill more octopuses. Because octopuses are usually evil. Even if they're not, we kill them anyways, because we think they're evil. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, I'm back, and man, this game's audio is low. Um... I adjusted it a tiny bit, but I don't know if, I still don't know if it's gonna be any better. Well, it's gonna be better, just I don't know how much better. Anyways, like I said before we left, as soon as we got back into things, we were gonna kill some more octopuses, and that's what we're doing. Oh, now go and grab that zapfish. Why aren't you all the way big, my boy? Oh, okay. Thought we wouldn't make the jump for a second. I love that ending jingle, which is good because we're going to be hearing it. That's not it. A total of one, two, three, like 22 more times, maybe, I think, I don't know. Do bosses count as... No, bosses don't count. Okay. Enzivez! Oh, 06 Propeller Lift Playground. Whispers on the wind. Where's this one gonna take place? Giant playground? No. A giant canyon with a strobe light that's probably like a bajillion degrees. It's now or never, Agent 3. Ah, oh, puppers. I don't like puppers. Nice one, bucko. Okay, he, he clearly has to be country in, in some way. I mean, he says bucko. Don't explode, please. 
Okay, apparently their feuds can just go on for infinity if they get stuck in my ink. Good to know. Bravo! We can launch these boyos upwards. A propeller lift and the wind in your face. There's nothing better. Pew, pew, pew. Except killing octopuses. That's, that's pretty good. I love the feeling of just killing these things before they even know. Like, they're just sitting there out on guard. But they're so bad at guarding that one minute they're just guarding and the next minute they're not guarding and they're dead. I could have worded that loads better, but it's okay because the point got across. Get all the orbs and advance a forward. Uh-oh. Don't fall, Agent 3. You know we sea creatures can't swim. <laughs> yeah, sea creatures. You know, the creatures that live in the sea. We, we can't swim. <laughs> That's something to laugh at. We don't know how to properly evolve. Evolution? What's that? We're aggressing species. Whoa, I almost swam through the fence there. That would have been a no-no good good. Does no no good good count as a double negative? I feel like some smart aleck is gonna say yes. Well, would say yes if my videos got comments. Oh, money! Money in the form of orange blobby boys. Currency is currency. Currency can be what I say it is. If I want Pop Tarts to be currency, then so be it. I had a kid in my elementary school get kicked out because he ate a Pop-Tart into the shape of a gun. He ate a Pop-Tart into the shape of a gun and got kicked out for it. <laughs> oh, I like that kid too, sad. Uh, well we missed our first, um, Thingy thing. You can see foes' positions? Huh, that's something I didn't know. Alright, cool. Uh, I like that kid too. He was my friend though. <laughs> he missed our first sunken scroll. I, I keep forgetting what they're called. Also, if, um, you probably shouldn't in the first few worlds, but if you ever find it, find it troubling to find a kettle or two, you can look at the gamepad and try and see, like, where are they mostly at and where haven't you looked yet. Because it shows where all the kettles are on your gamepad. Octoling Invasion. Kelp Dome Showdown. I'm not going to upgrade these yet because I want to increase my fire rate in a bit. Alright, so Octoling Invasions are special stages. A software update is required to connect and keep it. Not now. They're special stages that actually take place in... Um, areas that, um, what was I going to say? In battle stages for, we've got company, bucko, Octolings ahead. These take place, place in battle stages for the online uh, game, which begs the question, how in the heckity deck are these battle stages, um, underground? That's what I want to know. Get some armor up here, and they're octolings, as you can tell, which are basically inklings. Just evil. Oh, Jesus! Oh, we lost our armor. Alright. Could have dealt with those guys a bit better. I gotta remember that I do have bombs. I always forget about it. Where are you at? Oh, Jesus, you're right there! Oh! Die, you octoling scum! You can tell just how little I play online by my uh, my level of skill here. <laughs> the ink zuka. We got the ink zuka. Oh, the ink zuka. Okay, so we're gonna use this ink zuka here because it splats the heckity deck out of everything. Oh god. All right, just get to here. Oh, that killed me. Nuts. Big nuts. Wait, no. <laughs> no. Not what I meant. I thought we... 
Sorry for my language! Justice reigns from above! You're all dead! Uh, got it. You did it, guys. Kelpdome Showdown, more like Kelpdome, Kelpdome No Down. Actually, that's a lie because I actually did get one down. <laughs> I died, guys. I'm bad at this game. Oh, right, there was a. Uh, I didn't even bother looking for the sun control. Passing a checkpoint recovers a segment of your life gauge. Oh, that I didn't know. Okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, excuse me while I text someone real quick. I know, that's like a running thing. I love the, the, the glowy sneakers. It's pretty neat. Like, look at that. That's pretty awesome. I do love some of the art in this game, too. The, just this random art is pretty cool. Okay, text complete. Uh, this corner. We haven't went to this corner yet. <laughs> I'm covering up your graffiti, you fool. And this one should be... Not what I thought it'd be. Got your gauntlet. Take to the skies. Oh, we have two more here. Interesting. Take to the skies! I'm the color of P! Shoot a gusher to make it turn into a squid! Wait, wait, no. His dialogue advanced. Turn into a squid and then jump from the gusher. There we go. Now I want fruit gushers. Dang it. Sink me! You're surrounded! Sink you in what, cuttlefish, huh? That sounds a bit scandalous. I made it sound scandalous. Launch pad ahoy! Get ahead. Yeah, it's getting his voice changing so much. Oh ho, an octo stand. It's like the boss we fought, but suckier. Sucky sucky. Sucky sucky in German apparently means very fast. At least according to our German teacher, who I honestly don't know how credible she is because she's the worst teacher I've met in my life. So, yeah. Haha, uh -huh, I bet you didn't see that coming, you octo fools. Also, you can't just move around on these things. In case, see, I didn't know. All out assault! Activate the gushers! Charge for the cannons! Forward the squid brigade! Oh, final checkpoint. The final of the finals. Uh, do I want to go over there? I kind of want to see what's over there. Because it's not the intended path. And since when do I go on the intended path? Oh, it's not a scroll. Okay. Now I want the scrolls. I literally just said, I don't want the scrolls. And now I'm like, give me the scroll. Die, you scumbag. That's the scroll. Should be, yeah. Because uh, when I was practicing recording this, I went to like the first, I did like an episode or two, and uh, I should, one, I should have kept the audio settings the same, but I had to record Death Road to Canada and all that, so I didn't, but um, I think I, I went through like the second boss and then stopped from there. So I'm familiar with all these stages. Anything after World 2, I won't be. This scroll was found in a deep rock layer. Its age estimated at approximately 2,000 years. It details the ancient turf wars of the time. It seems the basic four versus four battle format had already been established at this stage. So we're fighting primally. For we enjoy primal stuff in the 2000s. Switch between the bomb types you've unlocked. Oh, right. I, I should probably upgrade this now. Now we can shoot faster. No, 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 they don't kill me. Can only make me strong out. What's wrong with me sometimes? I don't even know. Right, this is the one I thought the other one was gonna be. Unidentified flying object! Trouble over Inkopolis. <clears throat> Remember that tutorial stage? Yeah, well, that tutorial stage is apparently underground 
Yeah, this is underground, everybody. I'm not gonna let that go. Because I never actually bothered reading that these are all underground. That's an Octave Striker! Beware the Ink Strike! Get out of the way when you see it coming! Oh, God! Get out of the way, proceed to run right into it. I'm an idiot. So, just like the, um... Well, every, basically every stage in the story mode is the same... Well, no, no, different, what am I saying? Different, as in they're just, like, platformers that utilize different mechanics and stuff. Um, the ones that are the same are the Octoling ones and the UFO stages. Because these are all, like, either turf, like, actual online battle matches, or, uh, as you can see, the tutorial stage, but with either Octolings or these Ink Strikes. Which kind of tests you, actually, a bit on how well you know your online stages, which is neat. Quite neat. Alright, watch out there, because uh, it tries to get you as in you can't swim on those rails. Alright, this area, we're going to have a lot of bad boys who are going to lose their lives to my ink. Yeah, I know what I said. And Nintendo knew damn well what they were doing. When they made ink the primary weapon for this game. That's why there were no white colored splat fests until the second game. With the with the mustard and ketchup. They're like, you know what? I think our fans are mature enough not to make semen jokes. But nope, we did it. And I don't know if we've had a white splat fest set. Splatfest sense, honestly. I don't know. I haven't been playing the Splatfest. I never played Splatoon much online. Anyways, we killed a big bad boy. And we get the big bad reward. Zap fish ahoy! Nice. Trouble over ink up. My head's in the way of the Opolis. Or Olis, my bad. Dun, 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 Shooting the sneeze, the dreaded octo nozzle. Um. Ew, that just made me think of someone about to sneeze and then just having ink shot into their nose. I don't know why I thought of that so literally, but that, that'd be a disgusting thing to happen. Really, getting ink shot into your nose normally would be bad, let alone mid sneeze. Hey, it's that same octopus. Hmm. I don't get it. They, they could have just gotten away with not giving this boss a foot. Or, I mean, feet. But they just had to put shoes on it. Just like they had to put scandalous legs on the first boss. Anyways, this is the Octo Nozzle. Uh, pretty basic, you hit its belly button, and then it dies. Well, no, and then it becomes vulnerable, and then you kill it. He encountered a growth spurt. He's going through puberty, guys. What do you do to kids going through puberty? You smack their belly buttons more. <gasps> he grew an extra belly button. I don't know why, but... Well, I know exactly why. It's because of the shoes and the way that seaweed looks like hair. But I imagine this boss is, like, just a little kid. And we're abusing it. Also, the fact that not running from his nose because it's generally a childish thing. But still, we're just abusing this little kid robot thingy. This little kid robot octo thingy. How's that for a name? <laughs> Triple belly buttons? This thing needs to get some manners. Quit snotting all over me. You filthy snot bag! Oh, Jesus. That was a bit uncalled for, my man. He has quadruple belly buttons. Eh, 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 eh. I do like the boss theme, too. Okay, that did not work. I was hoping it'd be like the zap fish, where it just kind of hit it and exploded, but... No, that, those things actually need time, apparently. Because apparently... I don't know. I don't know how I was going to finish that sentence, so I just didn't finish it. 
I, I can't do an inkling noise at all. <laughs> As I'm sure many people can't because it's just such a weird... Whoomy! No, I, I can't do it at all. I'm not gonna try. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost blacked out. I almost blacked out from that. What's that sound? Blasted radio must be broken. You're, you're doing great, Agent 3. Don't let up. Shooting the sneeze. Alright, so we got another octo weapon thingy boy. And we outed the power of another circuit. It's all becoming clear. They must be using the Zapfish to revive the great Octo weapons. I think there's actually a way to skip a whole world. Like, obviously with glitches, but still. The point still stands. Okay, so things are gonna get even less straightforward from here on out. Uh, we still have the same amount of Zapfish, but as you can see, this place is even bigger. It's going to be a bit more difficult to find them. Obviously, this one's just going to be right on top of the tower. Makes sense. I'm going to shoot that one here. Invisible Avid. Oh, boy. I saw Invisible, and I read it, and then, like, one second later, it finally took, like, it finally took place in my mind. What's about to happen? Yep, Invisible Avenues, just like it says. Um. So we can... Stay on them. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Right. At least it's a pretty color, which is good because this stage itself is sucky sucky. Where's the Octo Boy? Where's the bomb? Okay. Who? We're safe. Onward, my brethren. There's no telling where they've come from. Stay sharp. Come here, boy. This is one stage where enemies, it can be beneficial to keep enemies alive because they can actually shoot the paths for you. So you can see where you're going. Oh, God, or they can attempt to blow you up. Hehe, <laughs> you dummy. How dare you blow up the great, magnificent Agent 3? Is there something down there? There was something down there. There is something down here. It's a sunken scroll. Now, how does one get back up? Oh, I see. Like that. How convenient. The Octarian see-through technomajiggies are pretty neat. I wonder what Cuttlefish's voice is going to be like by the end of the game. Gotta be a secret entrance entrance somewhere around here. There it is. That's pretty neat uh, use of it, I must admit. I mean, I guess all of it's neat. It just it's less neat because you know, no matter how good some, no matter how creative something is, if it's difficult, people aren't gonna like it as much. Well, no, that makes me seem like oh, I want my games easy. I like challenge. It just it can be very stressful sometimes. Watch your step, Skipper! Ah! Oh. Hello there. Don't mind me. Um. Don't mind- Where's the path? Where'd the- Oh. Okay. I didn't see that. Well, clearly. Boop. I'm worried if those guys can knock you back or if they just damage you. I have a feeling they're- Big bad boys, and I was gonna use a curse word there, and I was like, which one could I use? It's not too bad. And I'm like, nah, let's just not do it. Big bad boys. I have a feeling they knock back. Oh, we're walking a thin line here, but I'm, I'm just trying to relieve some of the stress. 
I'm nervous just watching. I'm nervous just actually doing the dang thing, Cuddle. Oh! Okay. There, there she blows. That fish did a hit. Ah. Okay. Those guys can kill you very fast if you're not actually like paying attention, because you can see how fast they shoot. That damage can rack up quickly, especially when you got more than one on you right now. Like right now. I'm gonna go over here, take you out, and then take you out, bomb this, and nice one, bucko. Okay, so that wasn't that bad. Not too shabby indeed. Twice a year, the Inkopolis Collection Fashion Show captures the hearts, minds, and wallets of the city's youth. Is there no room in these creatures' minds for anything but battle and fashion? That's a hot jellyfish. Like, I never thought I'd be attracted to something that doesn't have a brain. <laughs> Yet here we are, all thanks to Splatoon. That's the boss kettle. We don't want that. Uh, that leads all the way back. Shoot. There's a kettle in here somewhere. I just knows it. Come on, I know I'm not a dummy. There it is. Undeniable flying object. Blue fin sighting. It's undeniable. There was a sighting. I just knows it. <laughs> I set my gamepad down and it was just, it was locked on the ZR button. Alright, looks like an Octo Striker Agent 3. I'm the Inkster, you can't be targeted by the Ink Strike. So this is Bluefin Depot, I believe. Oh my god. <laughs> I have not played the Turf War for like the original Splatoon 2 and like even longer than the normal one. So this is honestly nostalgic to me. Just looking back at some of these stages. I remember this stage. This is actually a really fun stage to me. I don't know like I never paid attention to stage reception for most people. So I don't know which stage were like fan favorites and stuff. I'm assuming just the ones they brought back to Splatoon 2 still. But I love this stage. I absolutely adore it. Why exactly? I don't know, but it was it was amazing and fun, so don't question me. I'm sorry, but I want it. Aha, you see? Backtracking is not always bad. Only in a thousand year door. What the heck? Ah! Yeah, the more armor you get, the more Um, what's the word? Decked out you get. There was a better word for it, but I couldn't think of it. Uh but yeah, we're looking pretty, pretty snazzy with these, uh, telephone thingies. And then I don't think we can look any snazzier, so they just, I don't know. It's implied that we're snazzier than ever. Okay. It's undeniable! There she blows! This one has a headset. I think the first one did too, actually. This one's just more prominent. Die, you dirtbag! <laughs> he just gooped all over my screen. Hey, well done! Are you talking about completing it, or are you talking about the goop thing? Because I'm pretty proud of myself for that, I must admit. This is the only existing photograph of the legendary Squid Beak Splatoon. The young man folding his arm appears to be the leader. When this picture was taken, the great turf war had been raging on for over a year. And the one with his arm folded is none other 
than what appears to be our Captain Cuttlefish. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and the other one's um a character that you won't meet because he's not in the story mode of this game. So that's fun. All right. Back to finding more stages. Oh, Jesus! I did not realize how over time we were. Whoopsies, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> so we made it through World 2 and uh, started on World 3 next time on Splatoon. We're going to continue saving Zapfish and see just where that leads us. See you all then. <laughs>